At some point in time, you may find yourself with a song that has an end and that needs to be faded out. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. What's going on, voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to Logic Band, a site full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind or visually impaired Logic, GarageBand, macOS, and voiceover user. Check out the blog at logic.band and subscribe. Today, we're going to talk about two different ways that you can fade out the ending of your song. One of them is a bit of an automated method that's built into Logic Pro with a key command. The other one is these standard automation techniques that we've discussed previously. Check the description below for a link to some of the other automation tutorials. All right, so here we are in Logic and we got this ending that we want to fade out to this song. And we want to fade this in and out. Now, there's a couple different ways you can go about doing this. The first way is using the automated method built into Logic Pro X, and you can access that with a key command. But before we get into that, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your end of project marker set. So if your project ends at bar 89, you want to make sure that your end of project marker is set to bar 88 because bar 88 to 89 would be the last measure of the project. So this particular track ends at bar 163 and I'll show you where you can get to your end of project marker. So I'm going to stop interacting here with the track headers. Out of tracks header group. And if I view left. Tracks time ruler timeline. You have the tracks time ruler timeline. So if I interact with this. In tracks time ruler timeline. Four items, 153 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Playhead thumb, value indicator. And that says where the playhead currently is. 153 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Playhead thumb, value indicator. And if I try to VO right. 100, 153 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. I can't go any further, so I got to VO left from here. 162 bars, end marker, value indicator. And you see this says 162 bars. Now you can interact with this and use VO left and right arrows to move it forward or back. In value indicator, 163 bars, 162 bars, 161 bars, 162 bars. And you can use VO ship left and right arrow to move that in smaller increments as well. Auto value indicator. All right, so I'm going to stop interacting with Auto this. tracks time ruler. So now I'm going to go back over to the track header. Tracks header group. In tracks track three drums group track two base underscore one inches group. All right, so we're back in the track header. Now there are two ways you can do this automatic fade out process that Logic has available. One way to do this is from the menu. It's under the mix menu. So if I press VO M to jump to the menu. Menu bar Apple. And then press M to jump to the mix menu. Mix. Now, if I VO down arrow. Mix. Menu 6. Show automation. Create track automation. Submenu. Create track automation. VO right arrow to go into that submenu. Create track automation. Submenu 7 items. Create 1 automation point at region. And I just paused voice over there. We want the last option in this menu. So I'm just going to hit VO and. Create volume fade out on main output control option. Oh. Create volume fade out on main output. So you can just VO down arrow to this and VO space on this to select it. But if you heard there, it said the key command was control option O. So you can also just hit the key command control option O to execute this. So I'm going to hit escape on Closing this. Closing menu. Track two base underscore. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to do control option O. Track 12 stereo out. And what it does when you do that is it puts the stereo output or the master track as you can think of it in logic in your track headers. And it writes automation on that master track for you to do the fade out. So if I play from the same spot where I played from earlier. One hundred, one hundred fifty-three. You see that it created a fade out for us. But let's say, for example, you want to control that fade out yourself, where it starts, where it ends, etc., etc., etc. So there's another way to do this fade out where you can have full control over it using automation. But before we get into that, just want to remind you to like, share, and subscribe if you know someone new to Logic and getting up to speed with macOS and voiceover. And don't forget, if you want to go deep on any of these topics regarding Logic, macOS, and voiceover, you can book some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band slash training. Link in the description below, and also hit the link in the description below to sign up for the mailing list and get some free exclusive tutorials. All right, so let's get into how we can use automation to customize the fade out. You can do standard automation. Now that the stereo output is in the track headers, so if I press VON to jump to the end of the track headers. Track 12 stereo out, group. You see that the last track. Track, track 12 stereo out, group in the track header is now the stereo out track. So we can actually undo that automation. So if I do K 
Command Z. Undo. I just undid the automation, and if I play the project again. One hundred fifty-three. You see, it didn't fade out that time. So we undid the automation that I did. Now, let's say that you know for a fact that you don't want to do the automated thing and you just want to write in your own automation from scratch. Well, you can also just hit Command Shift M and that will put the stereo output in the track headers for you. And then you can just go ahead and do what we're about to do from here, which is just put in the automation that you want to do yourself. Now, if you want to do some automation, you basically just need to drop one automation point where you want the fade out to begin and another automation point where you want the fade out to end. And you're going to be automating the volume control here. And if you remember from previous automation lessons, one automation point for volume send or pan is going to be command control three. And that's what we're going to be using in this particular instance is just that single automation point. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So uh, I'm on my master track. Track stereo out, group. And I'm gonna press A to turn automation on. Automation off. Oops, let's hit A again. Automation on. Automation's on. Let's make sure the parameter is volume. In track 12 stereo out, group. I just interacted with the track header. Automation value button. Display off. Automation parameter, pop up button. All right, so we're gonna view space on this and select volume. Menu, display off command, cycle through command. Automation, dim. Volume. There we go. Press volume. Volume. Automation parameter. Pop-up button. So we got volume selected. And now let's see what the volume is set to on this track. So I'm going to VO left. Read. Automation mode. Pop. Subtract disclosure triangle. Plus 0, 0.0 decibels. Volume. Slider. All right. Volume is at 0 dB. So we're at... 100, 153 bars. One beat. One division. One tick. I just hit comma and then period to move the playhead. We're at measure 153 right now. So I'm going to drop one automation point with command control 3. And I'm going to move to where this ends at 163 and drop another automation point there. But before I do that, I will turn the volume all the way down. So here we go. 161 bars, 163 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. And I'm going to set the volume all the way down. In slider, minus 1 point. Out of slider. Show region based semicolon infinite dB. Volume. Infinite dB. So I just interacted with that and held down VO left arrow until it took it all the way down. And now I'm going to set another automation point. So command control three. And now this should automate the volume all the way down and give us that fade out. So I'm going to move the playhead back towards the measure 153. 100, 100, 100, 100, 158 bars, 157 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Subtract minus 8.8 .8 decibels. You see this at minus 8.8. .8. 156 bars, one beat, 155 bars, one beat, one division, subtract minus 3.9 decibels. Minus. Volume, slider. Minus 3.9. So you see this automation is working because as we move to different positions, we can see where the where the volume would be at those positions as the playhead moves. 154 bars, 153 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. All right, so we're back at 153. So now if we play from here. One hundred fifty. So you see, that's more drastic fade out than we had before when we had the automated fade out. And that gives us a little bit more granular control over the fade out. So if you just want to do a volume movement, a pan movement, and you just want it to happen gradually over time, you just need to set one automation point where you want it to start, another automation point where you want it to end, and it will move from the starting point to the ending point over time. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic, or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover. You can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and voiceover. As always, everyone, until next time, happy recording.